this video will be a lesson on a couple of different things. <clears throat> Number one, and most importantly, this video will be a lesson on why defense teams and prosecution teams have more than one lawyer. It's the reason why. It's the reason why it's more than one lawyer on, on, on the defense team. Because usually somebody has to tell you if your defense is even a good defense. Because you may think you on to something. Like you thought you ate. But then it's like, no, nah, because they can just say, like it's always, it always sounds different on the other side of the conversation, right? So this is why there's a lot of different lawyers. That's that this video is gonna be a lesson in that. And it's also a lesson in standing on what you say and people putting you in bad positions when you don't. Because Umar Johnson is one of my favorite people in the whole world, right? And I've heard him say over and over and over and over again, I only debate my equals. Everyone else I teach. This is his debate with two people who are not his intellectual equals, but the reason how he entered into this was emotionally. This isn't something he learned in school. This isn't something that was taught to him in class. These are his thoughts. So, and this video is being disingenuously shared on TikTok by a bunch of women who the conversation is not for, so they don't understand. So, they're misinterpreting. But we're going to break it down the real way here today. Because this is what I do. For real. And this is what people don't know. But this is what I do. So let's break this down. Speaking of that, um, you know, I've seen a video of, your, of yours where you <laughs> said that feminism has conditioned black women to view black men as the enemy. Um, it has. Feminism was financed by the CIA. All right, let oh. me stop. Before he go, let me go. It's because, see, y'all got to understand this. Our fight was always different than their fight. That's the reason why the feminist movement, like the bra burning, all that stuff, it literally happened the same year Martin Luther King got shot. We had our own fight as black people. And then we lost our leadership because they popped them all. And then while we were weak as a, as a, as a group, they took their shot. F, F, F them niggas. We going to go get something for us. You've never been oppressed by a black man. If you're a black woman, it's never happened to you. So the feminist movement from the very beginning had nothing to do with black people ever. Women jumped on it because they're women. The problem with what's going on now is a, a lot of women. I'll, I'll go as far as to say 100% of women who have a problem with men got the disdain from somebody who they dealt with. It don't be strangers. It be your baby daddy. It be your ex. That's who it be. So you've been conditioned <laughs> to hate men based off one you used to love. That's your fault, but that's neither here nor there. It was never your fight to begin with. Never, ever, 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 ever. But people be on the internet too much. Mm. The CIA brought feminism into the White household. Because the, the, the same people who was investigating Martin Luther King, what I just tell y'all, the same people that was investigating him funded her. It was a F these niggas movement. I'm trying to tell you. Y'all can listen to whatever. To man. get the woman out the Look house. Look it up yourself. And in, into the black household to turn a black woman against the black man. Mm. Mm -hmm. To 
scapegoat us for problems caused for her by white supremacy. So, you know, obviously, you know, a big thing. Obviously, and it's still happening to this day. It's still happening to this day. That's the reason why you log on TikTok and all these stupid apps and everybody talking about somebody who has to pay their bills while you're getting overcharged for everything. You act like somebody black is charging you for eggs and damn rent $3,000 a minute. It's nobody black doing this to you. And like he just said, you they, they condition you to blame all of your whole life on black men. No. It's nobody black doing it to you. It's the government still. It's still them. It's still them. Spoke. A black woman can have sex whenever she wants. Right. Because she's beautiful. She can have a bed mate. That's the problem, though, because it'd be leading to these kids and then it'd be no dad for real with them. So when the black, black woman says, I don't need a man, that is a reaction to the reality that I may not get a man. But it comes so, across as some arrogant, cocky diss. So it's, but instead of saying they, they will never I'll get take married. This, this is the Africa who married brothers they met right. in Africa. About the reality. Right. So Let me he, answer for him. He, he's saying that they'll never get married because it's just a reality that some of them won't. It's just a fact. I, I think there's plenty. There's plenty. I think there's Obviously, plenty of black men, yes, black it is. women. So and what I also saying tell black women, if married, you're going to go get you an African man from the continent, right? You're going to have to understand that the way in which you talk to black men in America mm. will not be tolerated over there. Mm -hmm. Why the it, fuck is it tolerated? It's not tolerated here. That's what we're trying to. No, tell see, no, well, no, 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 no. Over finish here, the, I want to say this to us. Mm. Finish the bar. Finish the bar, Umar. See, you ain't telling the whole story right there. You said that it won't be tolerated, but you're not saying how. Why are you trying to get them to go over there to them them people? What's going to happen? Hmm? What's going to happen if they do talk like that to some of them people from them other countries that have different cultures, that have normalized different things? How do you say Ike Turner in, in damn you? Never mind. Let's go. Because we try to act like the way sisters treat us doesn't have a history that we are not at least partly responsible for. Let's okay. But here's the problem with that. We. Who is we? Who is we? Be honest. Just being black men, just black men, just black men, huh? Just we, huh? The black woman has had to hold down the black house by herself. Mm -hmm. she has not. Although imperfectly, mm -hmm. she's had to do it by herself since the mass incarceration of black males the began in the 19th. Had to do it, had to do it. All of them hadn't had to do it. It's a lot of married people. It's a lot of people who know better to involve the father of the child. But anyways, go off. 70s. You've understood right, me. Though. Mm -hmm. He's not wrong. Most of our children are raised by a single mother right right now mm -hmm. and it has been that way for about 50 years so when the sister says i, I don't need a man because she couldn't find one strong enough to hold her down but how did she have a kid umar why are you ducking the, the responsibility of her whole life and choices or when you meet a woman and you say sister i'm, I'm strong enough to be a man you ain't got the work or you ain't got to pay the bills or whatever. Pull back. I got you. Mm -hmm. And she can't do it because all the other men before you mm -hmm. who disappointed her. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying is black man, we got to be patient with our women. But do you know how much of a turn off that is to the guy who ain't never did none of that wrong to her and then have to be judged and blamed for that? Men ain't trying to go through that. They're just not a human being not about to sit up and let you try to blame them for their ex and act like you the ex and not trust you because something the ex did and you out and you got to answer your phone in one ring because the ex cheated and all of that stuff. People not trying to do that. Period. Point. F and blank. So it's no. 
it sound good to say that's what people should do until you try to make somebody do it. They're not doing it. Gets what's all what 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 is what did the lady in the store say? Get somebody else to do it. Ain't nobody doing that, man. Stop because playing, we man. created that personality. He didn't learn, once again. He didn't learn this in school. This is not the doctor. This is just Umar talking. This is not no doctorate degree speaking. This is just a man. This is just a person. He just talking. He is, this is nothing he learned in school. He did not learn this in no school at all. That, and then we, we want to uh, act like we didn't play a role. Oh, we have to be held strong, accountable for their poor selection. No, you have to be held accountable. No, you have to be held accountable because they have a poor selection. Why? And first of all, no, you don't. No, you don't. Don't men, no, you don't. Man, no, you don't. Black man, listen to this. No, you don't. You do not have to be held accountable because of somebody else's poor selection. No, you do not. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Bottom line. See, what you're saying, you're selecting a poor mate. And what I'm saying is they don't have much to select one, so of course you're going to end up with a poor mate. I'm saying you cap. Poor mate. And I'm, why is she going to... I'm saying you're cap. I'm saying you're cap on multiple levels, but we're going to let you finish so we can discuss how cap you are thoroughly. End up with a poor mate because we as black men are not raising black boys to be the men that our women need. Big we are ass cap. Now, want to know why it's cap? I listen very well. I listen to these dating shows, and one thing I know, women all want the same guy. He He's the same guy. He's six foot tall. He makes a certain amount of money, and he looks a certain way. So you're not about to tell me that there's not a lot of women who raise their son the right way, but he's five foot seven, and he might not look that good to women. And they don't want to date him because they want to date this six foot guy who looks good, but he might be a piece of shit. So don't tell me that people ain't out here raising men correctly. They just ugly and short. And women look past them to go date the people that they're going to eventually complain about. Stop playing, Umar. You have to stop this right now. And I mean now. Not. They out there killing themselves right now. What we doing about it? Nothing. Unemployed black males. What we doing about it? What is we supposed to do? It, okay. I'm so glad he said this. He said they out there killing each other right now. I just did a video. There was 23 people shot in Chicago and at least one dead. What did he want us to do? Go be Hancock and fly in and kick people with the guns and take the bullets but not get killed what do we do when they've normalized it and made a sound out of it and called it drill and even drake does features with little dirt how does dirt get a drake feature and you mean to tell me people care about saving lives but that's the type of stuff you promote but then you get to rap with the greatest with not the greatest but the biggest rapper in the game how does this happen How do people stop a billion dollar industry to sell this bullshit to you? Huh? You want me to go unsign all these drill rappers that's promoting this dumb shit? Go look at the source cover of the uh uh double uh, XL cover of all the newest dudes. Lil got it, Lil Murder, this hunter, this uh, Lil shut the hell up, Umar. You sound crazy. What do you want people to do? Let's be realistic about this. Put the plan in action. How are we going to stop the motherfuckers in Chicago from shooting when it's being promoted even through the music? Stop playing with me. Man oh, sagging, weed smoking, what we doing about it? Nothing. Black men are not raising black boys to be the men our community needs. That is 100% our of fault. All, listen, no, no. The ones that aren't, aren't. That's what's happening. He's only talking about the people. He's reaching into the trash to say what people aren't doing. He ain't talking about the fathers. 
He's talking about the people who aren't fathers. He's not talking about the fathers. That's the whole problem right here. He's not talking about fathers. Oh. What I'm saying is she got a right to be angry with us. No, she, she got a right to be angry with him. She got a right to be angry with the person who ghosted her. She don't got a right to be angry with you who ain't ever did nothing wrong to her. She got a right, she gotta be right to the person that stole her money. But if you ain't never stole her money, you why is she mad at you? Right to be angry with us. I understand we that. have not been on our job as black men. I if the that. men are the providers, what have we been providing for our community? I'm not speaking you individually. Yes, yes. You yes. need to be. You need to be. Because that's what it's all about. Raising your family. You just saying that's what people need to do individually. You don't need to raise everybody else's family, so you need to raise yours. When you say men need to take care of their kids, you said they need to take care of their kids, right? That's individually. So what are you saying for real? You just word plan, but you, now you're doing it with the wrong person. See, I'm not them. You don't get the word play with me. Yeah. You because this, you might be uh, they can't teach this in school. There's no school that can teach this. You don't word play me. I'm not gonna allow it. You just playing games with words. But I've been had my doctor's degree in that since I was like 15 years old. You better ask about me. I teach courses in wordplay. Stop playing. A damn good father. You may yes. be a damn good father. You may be a damn good father. That's but all guess that matters to me. I don't care about some Debbie. So he made a damn damn good father, but he's a bad black man because some Debbie. Get the hell out of here, Umar. You sound stupid as hell. It's what? Man. What are we doing for? You sound like you don't community. have your GED. Community. What are we doing for the children who don't have a father? You don't think the black woman got a right to be angry when she's been raising two thirds of the kids by herself for 50 With who? 50 years? And you know what? I minute think she yes, raised her voice. But with who? We say she not humble. All men. All men, huh? Enough. I she think, had I, to I, become masculine to survive. Big cap. I don't want to hear this. You're lying off the rip. I'm about to cut you off before you even say this dumb shit. You're lying. The rape. The molestation. Mm. The domestic abuse. Are you telling me you can't see how I, we created that? I understand that, but she was we. You created it, Umar, or one of them created it. Who created it? We, we was loving selective. our women and, and taking care of our women. Do you think she would be like that? That if, personality if has if a history. If she's picking Pookie and Ray Ray instead of you're like, making John. her a scapegoat. No, she. Picking a scapegoat. You're making him a scapegoat. Go. No, 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 no. There's, there's good. Yes, 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 yes. All the men that they ignore. Why she even got it? Why, why, why is there even a pookie in the selection? Because this is, okay, I already answered this question, but I'm glad you asked again because I want to say it again because this is what has been normalized. This is what's cool. If you see all these stupid videos of would you rather date a nine to five guy or a scammer, they say scammer. So the reason why Pookie is in the selection is the same reason why you look at my profile pic and it's a side angle of what Prince was trying to tell you that people was going to be in 2023 is a bunch of slaves. So Pookie is in the equation because he got some money. And because he's six foot tall and because he's dark and he's got some dreads and he's got a beard and he's got some buffs on and he's got a watch and he's got a ring and he's spinning chip and he's throwing money in the club. It's been simplified for Ben. Pookie's in the equation because he bought his way in. What are you saying? You got to ask something. No, no, no. No, he don't. No, he don't. Because I just answered for him. I just answered for the whole entire black culture. That's how Pookie got into the equation. You let him in because he bought his way in because you thought he looked good. Stop playing with me. I'm not about to play no games with you. I'm not none of them little niggas. I'm not going to have... I'm not going to tell you why there's a pookie in the selection. This or, is stupid. Because black men have abandoned black boys and have allowed social media, white media... He's right about this. Now, I ain't cooking. Athletes and rappers to raise them. But, That's but, 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 that has nothing to do with the woman. Absolutely nothing. Not a thing. 
That's why she with Pookie. If that is not why she with Pookie. That's why he didn't have the guidance to be to not be Pookie. That's not why she picked him. You're not about to play with me, Umar. You play with these dudes. You got it's a different level. How a verb say it? You can't be mediocre and come see the Yoda, man. It's a different level. I'm not them. You play with them. So that's the reason why that he didn't have no common sense to not be no Pookie. But that ain't why she picked him. You better stop playing. Don't play with me. We never allow Don't Pookie to develop. She would not have a Pookie. That's cap. If we're going to be men, mm -hmm. the first thing we got to do is take responsibility ability for why our women feel the way they feel i can i can hear that i'm not saying that. you're you're saying two different things you're saying two different things you want men to okay we could do one but we can't do both so we could take responsibility for why women have this disdain for men because of all these deadbeats all these guys that are abusive all this stuff okay we'll hold the l for that but we can't also be the blame for why she picked them. Because now you're going into the matrix. And we're dodging accountability here. So we'll hold the L for all the Pookies and Ray Rays in the history of the world who she picked. But we won't. Hold the L for her picking them. That's impossible. You can't do two things. We can't do both, Umar. So I'm going to need you to pick which L do we really have to hold because we can't hold them both. Are women in that equation at all? Oh, but and don't worry. We're going to get to that. Yeah. That they're right to disrespect because even if a woman disrespects me, right? right mm. That still don't give me a right to disrespect. Back her because she's still the queen of the community. Well, welcome to manhood, ladies. Enjoy your double standards. Even if, this is what he's saying. Even if someone disrespects you, <laughs> that don't give you a right to disrespect them back because she's a woman. Welcome to manhood, ladies. Do it sound fair to you? <laughs> Even if she not want to trade, that's your masculine energy. Take that part. Don't act like no, 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 no. Don't just take the masculine energy that y'all want. Oh, I pay bills, so I'm masculine. Take that part. Take that part. Cause he just said that even if somebody disrespects you, that don't give you the right to disrespect them back. Cause she's the queen. You can't be the queen and the masculine energy. So you got to pick one. Is you going to be the queen? You going to watch a little disrespectful mouth then. Y'all don't know how to do that, though. So Umar just still needs to pick a side to stay on. Because I don't like him like it. fence hopping. And I don't like him sounding like he has a GED. I need him to start talking about something he learned in school and not this. Because he didn't learn any of this in school. This is not it. I'm going to give it that respect. But when I hear brothers talk like this discourse we have now. Yeah, yeah. We act like we don't understand. No, I do, there's I reasons do, for that shit. I do understand. I, I, women, I'm waiting for him to talk about the other reasons for the people picking them. I'm waiting. Are so valuable. I'll be here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think women ground men and help them, you know, propel to the to the next level. I, Big fan. I think men go get further in life with a woman, mm -hmm. right? But mm -hmm. when, I, if I'm a hardworking man, but I'm only looked at as, as resources, okay, and then she's ready to jump on Tom, Dick, and Harry because he has, he's, he got flash, he's uh, shining a little bit more, his access to money is quicker than mine. It's, it's kind I already said that three different times on this video. That's the reason why Pookie exists. But Umar's trying to ignore all of this. But, you know, I'm not going to let it. It's hard to have that. that well, no, one, I agree with you. But that See, he stuttered through that point. I would have yelled it to the heavens. Like, yo, what is you talking about? 
she picking these niggas because he got money and he's flashing it and throwing it in the club. Ain't wouldn't have been no stuttering through that point with me. Huh. I would have wrapped it out to him. And I would have said that point in nine different languages. He sound crazy, man. I, yeah. It's not all this is, I cannot believe I'm watching this, honestly. It's the, I'm no, it's not. Real child. That's how I feel. And if you're constantly running into that type of woman, yeah, then the problem is you. Because you're attracting a certain low vibration energy why, yeah, why is why that have that same energy for the for wow wow and he wow i'm speechless that he just said that so he gonna tell this man he looked this man right in his face and told him that if he keeps running in tight into that type of woman the problem is him after saying it's men's fault for creating this man, these type of men. Well, what about the women, Umar? That is crazy. Women, you just, you just, again, you have because the man. We have a conversation as men. Yeah, I got, I got plenty of interviews with all women where I check them too. All right. I'm glad he said that because it's a reason why I'm here. I didn't know he said that, and I'm glad he said that because that's the reason why I'm here. He said, how come you ain't holding these women accountable? And he said, because we having a conversation with men. See, and this is why I've been on TikTok saying what I've been saying. Women sharing that video on that app is the most disingenuous thing that I could think of because what nobody talking to them. So they just want to use it to duck accountability. And Umar was helping them ridiculously, might I add. But he was only talking to men about being men. If it was a woman there, maybe he wouldn't have let her get out of this. But the way he's going about just trying to blame the guy for everything, I'm not so sure. So it's interesting that he said that because that's the reason why I'm here. He was only talking to men. So all these women sharing the video saying, see, that's what we've been saying. You ain't been saying shit. You've been saying some bitter shit about your baby daddy. You ain't been talking to nobody like this as a college graduate that's got their shit together. You ain't been talking about these niggas. So shut the hell up. But as a man, you should not be concerned about what i say to them mm. no. as men we should be con what no 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 see you playing with the wrong people see the see, 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 see. you have to be consistent what you mean as a man i shouldn't be concerned on what you say to them so we should just say okay <laughs> so we can let people get bad advice so as a man, I shouldn't be concerned with Steve Harvey them say. Whatever they say, just cool. As a man, I shouldn't be concerned on what you saying to women. But you want me to be responsible for their choices. How I'm going to be responsible for their choices if I can't be responsible for the information that they're intaking. That's just like a parent. You won't let your kid watch certain stuff because you don't want them having certain stuff in their, 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 their system. But now you saying I don't I don't gotta care about what they're intaking, even though they listen to Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion, all this shit, hating men, all this TikTok dumb shit, and then, but now, but I'm not I'm supposed to care what you're saying to them. I care what you're saying to them, especially if you're trying to be hypocritical when you're talking to me, because over there you were saying this, but now you're saying this to me, and those two things don't match up. So don't say, as a man, don't be worried about what I'm saying to them. As a man, you is supposed to worry about what you're saying to them. Because I need your logic to be consistent, fam. And it ain't right now. And he's calling you out. And Sir, I'm calling you out. Of what we're going to do to produce a better generation of black males for tomorrow. That's the only... That, that we, is where we should be focused women on. Women bring the choice of life, right? We understand Understand that, right? I can't have a, a, a child unless a woman agrees. She can't a carry woman, one if you or, didn't put it in her. It, that, okay, now we. Just I agree with that one hundred percent too, right? Kid, but whether or not, whatever. if you want that child or not, she can still make that decision.
I'm not it's about only to up you to don't her. Put his seed in yeah, her. her. We know. Nothing else happens. We learned this And no woman girls, can make you put a seed in her. So the original act, act was it, the responsibility of a man. True. But I he mean, didn't care. Right. So. He didn't care. And you tripping, Umar, but I'm going to let did, you go. Did one. black men willingly leave the household or was it the system that was it was systemic but, all right so we're never there i'm sick of people Ooh, y'all about to stop this it's another thing that's gonna stop on my watch i'm about to stop watching people who are 20 30 40 talk about the 60s and 70s like y'all was there y'all were not there none of y'all were there so black men didn't leave the home they were never there. Nothing changed. The people who had deadbeats in the 70s had deadbeats for the same reason the deadbeats is the deadbeats now. They was on there dating these David Ruffin type of dudes. These band members, these dudes who was on drugs, cocaine, Nikki Barnes, crew members. It's been the same since the 60s and 70s. It was drugs back then. Frank Lucas boys had the women Guy Fisher, listen, Nicky Barnes snitched on his boys over a woman. Why you think they was dating? Why you? Y'all about to piss me off. Why do you think she dated Nicky Barnes? And why do you think one of Nicky Barnes boys was able to get with her? The same reason why I can turn on a video in 2023 and they say, do you want to date a nine to five guy or a scammer? Nicky Barnes was a scammer. Guy Fisher was a scammer. Y'all better stop playing with me. See, I'm not one of these little kids on this show. I know people who was there. Like, stop it. This is ridiculous. Talking about did they leave the home or was they? No, they was never there to begin with, just like some of these deadbeats now. Imagine somebody leaving the home over some welfare. Oh, yeah, we live together. We together. I'm your husband, but then now we got to get a divorce so you can get public assistance. Y'all sound like some idiots, and I'm tired of it, and it's going to stop. If I have to respond and stitch every single video I've ever seen on TikTok about the stupid subject, I'm going to start going in. Because I don't know what y'all talking about, and it sounds ridiculous when you put common sense to it, but that's what I'm here for. So I don't even like the question. It's a dumb question. Did they leave the home or were they kicked out? Neither one. They was never there. And the people that was there raised their family. That's why a lot of y'all grandmothers who got their granddaddy there too had six kids, had seven kids. They had a dynasty. Stop acting like people was just everybody's been a pookie and a deadbeat forever. No. Some people got strong grandparents. They was raised by patriarchs and matriarchs. Y'all need to stop playing. Public assistance is only for people with a certain amount of money to begin with. So if your granddaddy was at GM, your granddaddy was at Fisherbody, your granddaddy was working at a certain place, they wasn't even getting no public assistance in the hell goddamn way anyway. So y'all talking about getting kicked out the house over some public assistance. That's a broke people problem. And everybody wasn't broke. So I'm not about to sit here and listen to it all day long. Well, how, if we if, if we giving them grace for them having to, to do it without us, but it wasn't our fault, how but, are we not get that same grace and that same respect? I'm gonna tell you why. why? I'm gonna tell you why. You don't need because it. black men, as the leaders of the community, now uh, we can't be leaders. Here's the here's the question Women we got to make. That? Here's the I disagree. Here's the question. I disagree because the argument y'all make, yeah. Okay. Feeds into the feminist agenda. Okay. It's mm -hmm. an argument that says, I don't want the responsibility. It does, I'm a leader. I don't, I don't want to know. think. I, listen, listen. listen. Shit. Yeah. Mm. This is where I step in the middle and agree with both people, but tell them that they're both wrong at the same time while I'm doing it. So, the, here's why Umar's right. Because they're saying they don't need you to do it. And you're saying, that you can't do it. Like, they won't want you to be a leader. They won't let you. So, basically, if they say, 
they don't need you to do it. And you say, okay, well, go ahead. Then you're proving their point. Get what that's what Umar's saying. But let me step to the other side of the fence, Umar. Let me talk to you, Umar. Here's why you're crazy. Because I, I all right, I'm I'm agreeing with both people, but I'm on this side over here more. I'm about to talk to Umar crazy. Umar, let me explain something to you, fam. This is why you're wrong. Because look around you. They have all the complaints in the world. So people are sitting back letting them do it, but they're also failing. And you're saying that they're failing, and that's why you're saying all these pookies exist. But you're blaming the men for it, but really it's because you're saying the men weren't there. But while the men weren't there, they were. So you're saying we let them do it, but while we're letting them do it, people are failing. So the evidence is really why you're letting them do it. They're proving that they can't. And that's why they complain all day on TikTok. So both parties are right. <laughs> both parties have a point. But I wouldn't want to be on Umar's side of this argument. Let's just put it like that. Right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to fall back and let her run and everything. Mm -hmm. That's what the feminists tell. They say, look at them, making excuses for why they can't be better men make an excuse of Which why is they really just reverse psychology see now this is the first time he see he finally got out of gd class went out of associate's degree went from bachelor's degree went to master's now he's using his doctorate because he's a doctorate in psychology he's using it but he's using it for evil because this is reverse psychology even though he's using a woman's example but he's using reverse psychology so his example is an example of reverse psychology at least he's using his degree I feel like I'm looking at the doctor again. Kim, Cause this GED dude make that better, you understand? Mm. I don't know Your argument feeds the feminist narrative. That's not, dangerous. That's not He's right about this though. He's not wrong. I just wouldn't be on want to be on his side of this argument. Cause the rebuttal's brutal. Cause you got to look around you at the results and say, okay, well, have they done it effectively? He's already said they haven't. He said he said at the beginning. He said they've had to do it themselves. While not all that effectively, he said that. So. His argument would get smashed by the right lawyer, but you're looking at him. We're making this not this not, not we, he's not wrong, but his say, argument I, not strong. Let's just put it like that. I am the better man, but yeah. I shouldn't be held responsible because you wanted to choose a Pookie and a Ray Ray. That's not me. I work too hard and I'm in my go life. Back to what I said, Pookie and Ray Ray shouldn't exist. And the only reason I Pookie Pookie and Ray Ray exist because we're not in the community making those boys that men they need to be do you All see right. that and she don't um, get it i agree with him there however the issue becomes okay men aren't in the community making a boy the guys the boys are supposed to be but does that mean they're supposed to get picked it's scammers out here but that don't mean if somebody inbox you uh, uh you cash app you a thousand and you said be 2500 that you do it when you know this is what I'll be saying. This one of the goes to my next one of my slogans. You don't get to complain about your next X. What does that mean? Because there's all this information out here about how everybody ain't shit. Men ain't shit. Men are liars. Men are dogs. Men are that. Men are da, 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 da. So if you single right now, you don't get to complain about your next X. Because that means you got into a relationship after knowing all of this. After everything you've seen, all of the Kevin Samuels, all of the Pookie Ray Ray, Cynthia G's, Kendra G's, all the TikTok videos, da, 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 and you still fell for some bullshit, you don't get to complain about your next ex. You can't do it. I'm not to me. <laughs> get somebody else to listen to it. Get somebody else to do it. It ain't going to be me. You won't do it around me. I won't let you. You can't do it. There's too much information out here. Pookie, if you didn't allow a Pookie. But she right. got an Eli. She ain't come to Eli. She went to Pookie. And that's what we're trying to <laughs> she say. She wouldn't have I had a too, Pookie if we I didn't allow too one. Hard in my life. Right. She wouldn't have had a Pookie if we didn't but, allow one. Big cap, Umar. Umar, you capping, fam. You, you acting like you don't know what a woman's selection process is. It'd be some shallow shit. Stop playing with me, man. I'm not going to let you do this. We men supposed uh, uh, to make the braids the boys, right? right. We right. as 
men, passage. we as men, let's hold the other men accountable for for the same thing that you talking what, about what, right what, now. What, what are we doing for the young brothers in the street? So what you mean, man? Touring them? Now I mean, I, oh, he's a great go before I go off. Father, mm -hmm. I ain't talking. That's individual. I, that's good. But, uh -huh. but that's individualism. Yeah. What are we doing collectively as men mm -hmm. to change the trajectory for black boys in the streets right now? I, I Nothing. We're being a voice. talking shit. Yeah, I mean, you could take it's, it. You know, this reminds me of, Umar, what you just did reminds me of one of the greatest debates in the history of the world. <laughs> when he was on a Roland Martin show and he caught five bodies. But that particular wording that he just did, he did to them. He asked them about white people who had um were doing stuff to uh stops uh excuse me systemic oppression as a whole, and they started naming people. And he like, well, you name it individuals. Well, what about collective? He just did that same thing. But see, here's the thing. It's a little bit different. Because the systemic problem of Pookie was created by individuals. It was. It was aided by music and all these things, but it was created by individuals. Nobody was in that bedroom with them people when they was making these babies. These were individual acts. So you can't say this same argument that you tried to use with the handkerchief head Negro on Roland Martin show with people when we talking about baby mamas because these are individual acts. So it don't work the same, Umar, but you could try it with these. Your word playing doesn't work with a master, dude. You're talking to a doctorate of wordplay right now. It's not going to get better mm -hmm. unless we put hands on deck. The reason the athletes and the rappers are are the role models mm -hmm. is the professional black man moved out the hood. Where did Dennis at? He ain't in the black community mm -hmm. no more. Mm -hmm. It's the money. It's the it's the media. They put it in your faces. Maybe that's true, but also, it's a market. People people go off market. People go off what they see. It all depends on who you are as a person, on what you gonna look up to. If you're like the draw, it's artists that you like that people don't know about. If you like to skate, it's skaters you know about that people don't know about. So therefore, it's 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 it comes down to um knowing who you uh where the lawyer <laughs> at, where the business owner at. It comes at. down we to knowing who you are as an individual. So who, what you gonna like? But most people just fall in line with what other people like. City council person at we abandon we know who black boys, and then we blame black men for poor choices in mates that they sh should not even have to make if we did a better job raising our boys the right way. Nah, you, your word plan. At, at the end of the day. If I'm going to call myself a man, mm. the ultimate responsibility for reconstruction of the black community rests with me. Mm. Yes, they have a role. Mm. Yes, they have responsibility. Mm -hmm. But as a man, as a leader, mm. to say I can't fix this shit unless she changes, that's not the definition of a man. I, I, I don't yeah. see. I think when we're, not, we're on two different accords, like, yeah. I don't think. Yeah, because listen, if it's a problem, if you can point out a problem on one end and then say it doesn't have to change, then you're being disingenuous. If we could point out the problem in men and then say that has to change, cool. But then we could point out the problem in women, but you saying that doesn't have to change. You're being disingenuous. We're saying that. What I'm saying is I am I, I'm capable of being that leader, that provider. I've worked hard 
my life. You get what I'm saying? I should not have to... Dude, you still going I, I back to individualism. But I only feel like we tell black men that we have to now deal with... You keep doing mass- that. Everybody, listen... Everybody isn't no damn revolutionary to damn lead a whole community of people. Some people just take care of their homes. And what you failing to realize is that's the problem right now, Umar. Stop it. Stop trying to go past the problem. The problem is that individualism. We're talking to people who have a problem with their baby daddy being a boogie. So we need to start with people in the home taking care of their kid. It is an individual problem right now. Before it can be a collective problem, it's an individual problem. That guy who's that Debbie needs to go see his kid. What do we, man? I'm about to be, I'm about to piss me off. Killing women, women with children. Why by is other- she masculine? Because she's got- had to raise the kids alone. Not one. I'm about to lose it, and I'm telling you, man. I'm, woman, so brother, you to go, I'm tell me, a whole I, community. So you mean to tell me I, the only woman I could look forward in my life is a masculine woman that has kids by no, other men? No, that's man. what I have to no, look forward to. But I'm see? telling you, mm. mistakes made by black men mm. systemically mm-hmm. gave rise to the conditions that allowed her to be masculine and made her end up with a man that you consider to be less than what he should be. And I'm telling you, black men are responsible for her being masculine because we have not helped her raise them children. I, I am and not. when I say help them raise them children, I don't mean you as the stepdad. No, yeah, yeah, I, I mean me. you yeah, yeah. As, as an active member Definitely. in the community yes. where we go to every single parent black mother and say how many sons you got to how many sons you got to well guess what that's your son's big brother that's your son's big brother he taking him to school he doing the homework he gonna spend a couple hours with him every saturday he got his own kids too Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but he gonna make time for you she got masculine because she had to become masculine in order to deal with the rape the abuse the domestic violence the, the disappointments that men had in their life and also raising those kids and have to take care of herself all at the same time. The mm-hmm. black woman has been the be all in all in our community for half of a century. Mm-hmm. And now we want to turn around and say because she didn't do it perfectly enough or remain feminine enough when she had to absorb our responsibilities plus her own that's insensitive and disingenuous okay okay and how about we say that it is how about we say that it is insensitive and disingenuous to say everything that you just said here's my issue all of the women who aren't masculine who still do the same thing so we can't just sit back and be the scapegoat for somebody's poor attitude. We have to stop just saying the word masculine. No, 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 no. Some of these people who you're talking about have bad attitudes. And that's the reason why they say some of the stuff they say that comes across masculine. I'll fight a dude and all these cuss words and cussing him in and all of this stuff, being an aggressive person. Because I know a lot of single mothers and I know some feminine ass women with children. That's what I do know. I know some single mothers and I know some feminine women with kids. So it's also disingenuous for you to say that that is the reason why women are masculine because when you put two people in the same situation and one acts different than the other, it calls to the question, why is this one acting the way they're acting and you're not? We can't just put a general name on a poor attitude, man. It's not masculine. 
to bad attitude. I, I don't. I don't yeah. believe. So. Yeah, I can't. I agree. mean, I guess I. I do I, understand. What, I understand what you're saying. I'm not taking nothing back yet from that. to tell me something that we've done systemically to combat that. There's nothing that was supposed to be done systemically. I'll tell you something that was done systemically. People started highlighting it on podcast. It was systemically done through TikTok. It's still being systemically done. That's what we've done systemically. We're highlighting it on social media every single day. It's being highlighted. It's, it's awareness being brought to the topic. Way more than any march on Washington or march on Selma ever could. There's been awareness to the topic. You're doing it right now. Don't sell yourself short. Me, uh, this, you keep are, saying me are, and her. I don't care about me and are, her. But there's plenty women of and men. Women and men as a group in right. the community. You understand? Right. We gave birth to that. Mm -hmm. You see? So you say she had a couple kids already because she got she met men. She probably thought they was good, some of them. They she left they, her. She knew they wasn't good. You don't know that, bro. She knew they wasn't good. You're making yo. assumptions Damn. about her. Would you make the same assumption so if she you? was a white woman? Oh, yes, I would. God. So yeah. you say. No, no, I'm not even going there. Come on, man. No, nah. Come on. Listen, no. All women accountable. So you say Listen, you I, I, like I said, I, I'm... I feel like as a black we man. We don't hold them all accountable because black men date outside their race more than every other man put together. I said we. Y'all three. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I but can't even, disprove even, that because I don't know you personally. Even that. Yeah, but if we look at the numbers, black men marry black women at an 87% 80, rate where black women marry outside of the You know what's funny about that? See, see this is what we're not going to do. We're not just going to breeze past that without at least putting some respect on it. So I remember one of the first videos I did on TikTok. I said, hey, I need to know something. What the hell is tall, dark, and handsome when a, when a white person says it? Like, what white women, what do y'all be talking about? You know, I don't know what they said. They said anything other than a white guy. Which means you could be Italian. That's dark to them. You could be Mexican. That's dark to them. But you got to be black too. So the fact that they date outside their race more than anybody else has a lot to do with people being attracted to them as well. Don't just act like there's some type of problem with black women as to why a lot of guys date outside their race. It's really just the fact that the women want them. Let's not gloss past the kingdom here, Omar. <clears throat> their race, um, or they, they marry outside of, at a 92%. Black that, women do not. No, 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 you're that's wrong. That's percentages of you're wrong. That's not that much. Black women do not marry out the race more than black men. That's I'm not wrong. saying that. They don't. But the, the percentages black ain't that women, far off. That's black what I'm saying. Women have one of the highest, fastest growing interracial marriage rates. Mm -hmm. But her interracial marriage rate pales in comparison to what black men have been doing interracially for four or five decades. Well, you know well, the reality of that is because men, like they say on every talking point, men control access to marriage. So the men are deciding who they want to marry. Like women ain't proposing. So it's basically like the white guys aren't proposing to the black women, not saying it like they don't want them at all. But that's the reason why, like, because the black guy got the selection to say, oh, I want to I want to propose this white girl. I want to propose this Chinese girl. I want to propose this Mexican girl. And as opposed to a black woman, she might want to marry a black white guy, but she's not about to get on her knee and go with a ring. So. Those are, you know, it's a fact, but it's like, you know, why it's a fact you're talking to men about being men. Of course, there's they would they would have more marriage stats. They should. They have more choice in it. 
and, and women want it to be that way. She but don't even come close to what we're doing black, interracially. Black fathers are in the home more than any other group or race. Okay. So but what that that has no value? It does have value. And people act but like we're going to put that thing. up against the other it, statistic. It, Two thirds of that statistic. I don't. I need. Man, I don't even really believe that to be honest. But it was um. It came from a divorce thing, like a a separation thing. Like black women are more involved. Like once it's a separation, a lot of other races be like, "Fuck them kids and fuck you too." But black men still be involved in their kid life after the thing. It ain't that statistic is misleading. <laughs> it is that statistic is misleading. They don't mean that we're the most involved. It means we're the most involved in divorce. Our kids are being raised by the women. Two thirds of our kids are being raised by the women. Mm -hmm. And like I said, when I say being raised, I'm not saying it needs to be a father. I would like like a father in that house. Yeah. But it I know it's not enough of us to go around. Yeah. We are not even being accountable to the boys in the hood. And we're complaining about the women. I'm ar I argue with women who are making what we shouldn't have to be though. That's the whole point. Babies yeah, with the air a lot of people are handling their business. They work and take care of their home. And you want them to go search out some people who are disrespectful and don't even have a listening ear. You're not being realistic. Responsible men that we didn't raise correctly. That's bullshit. All right. That's, that's yeah. wimp ass, weak man shit. Nah. Take responsibility for us. Yeah, no, it's not. It is if you was talking about your kids. It ain't when I'm talking about no goddamn strangers. And you can yell and cuss all you want to, nigga. Watch your mouth. You wrong. Shit, stop scapegoating yeah. them. Yeah, I could agree. I could agree to that. All that, I'm that, saying that, is, look, look at all. We could be doing better, man. Oh, half, the, half the black boys in the fourth grade can't read. What black man doing about that systemically? Not, not enough. I know I, what I, I'm yeah. doing about it. I'm. I building agree. a school for it, two of them. Mm -hmm. But systemically, as black men, what are we doing about that? Nothing. Black, black. You know what? I would like to pose the question to you. What do they do about that when it's a school problem? Why is that even a reality for people? In this era, I blame this era. What do you want us to do systemically? Start taking away tablets? Because people are getting raised by tablets and not learning all of the basic skills that they need. That's not nobody's fault. What you mean? What is black men doing about it systemically? What are black teachers doing about it systemically, motherfucker? What are teachers, period, doing about it systemically? It's the school problem. It's not a black men in community problem. That is a fourth grade reading education. Now, black men got to figure it out. Yo, what do you want them to do? Go to the school board meeting talking like Eric Mays and point of information, everybody. Because why the hell is that even a reality? That don't even make no black sense. Black boys are the most unemployed teenager in America. What black men doing about that? Okay, now you're about to piss me off, Omar. Because you just got done saying at the beginning of your video that men were scapegoating women for problems that they had systemically. Well, you don't think, and this is rhetorical because you know goddamn well, that black boys being the most unemployed has a lot to do with the people who are hiring and how they've historically discriminated against black men in the hiring process. You don't think that has anything to do with it? Because I do, and I know that you do too. So why would you even say this in good faith? Man, I don't know who you was talking. You wasn't talking to me. You was talking to them. Not See, the Pookie much. and Ray Not Ray, you much. kept talking about? Mm -hmm. We letting them raise right before our eyes. And then we want to criticize us for ending up with one when we should have made sure there were none. 
We not letting it. Man, you're about to piss me off. You are asking people to raise people's children who they don't know. I was just watching. I be feeling like I'm in the loop of stuff. I be thinking I'm no stuff. I just found out about Bippin in Oakland. Bippin. They robbing people, breaking in their cars. If you go to Oakland, they telling people, and they've normalized it. They said, if you park in certain areas, you have to roll your windows down, make sure nothing is in your car, and leave your glove department and your glove compartment and stuff open so people know it ain't nothing in there. You got to do all that just to not get your windows broken and robbed. You basically got to just walk, got empty everything out to let people know you ain't got nothing so you don't get robbed. And then I found this out on a beat because it happened to be Simone. People in the comments saying, you should have knew better. That's bipping. You should have knew better. You should have knew not to park there. People have normalized it. So people know better. People literally gave the instructions. The instructions that I just gave, I got from people in the comment section. So instead of doing something about people breaking in people's cars and robbing people and stealing stuff from people, people just know how to take a precaution. Roll all your windows down. Oh, empty your glove compartment and your glove box thing. And so people know it's nothing in there. This is what you do to prevent something that shouldn't be happening to begin with. So we've normalized all this stuff. Don't nobody give a damn about the stuff that's carrying uh, going on in Chicago. I posted a video about 23 shootings in Chicago, 23 people shot in Chicago. I bet you if I go to the, in that video, ain't no comments, no likes, no nothing. Was no discussion under that video. People say, oh, no, that's messed up. All that stuff. But they care about them white submarine dudes. Three white submarine dudes in comparison to 23 niggas in Chicago. What's more important for real? But you're saying, what are we doing systemically? Nothing. We listening to drill music. That's what we're doing systemically to stop the problem. Listen to Lil Dirt and talk about how, how fire Gunner's album is. I want to reach through my thing. And just grab everybody that like Gunner's album. And say you're part of the problem. These niggas was just indicted. For some serious shit. This nigga just told. These niggas doing serious shit. And then get right out. And y'all talking about his music fire. Don't nobody care about the individual that he is. Or the people that he run with. And the lives that they cause. Niggas talking about his music is fire. And you talking about what is we doing systemically? Do you want me to go burn down a record label? That's the only thing I could do systemically to help the culture at this point. Don't tell me to go to no goddamn boys and girls club and men or nobody. I got to go unsign a hundred drill rappers before I help the culture. Don't tell me, man. I don't want to hear it, Umar. You asking people to do something that ain't going to help. Because the problem is money. And people thinking they cool. And drugs. Listen, we all got we all got choices. Just like if I choose to live a lifestyle You're that with could, individualism, that could, again. I can't. But that's deal part with that. of choices. No, it's not. We have to deal with this systemically. He brought Bullshit. up a question earlier, and he said, "Did we make these problems on our own, or was there some, some systemics?" involved. Mm -hmm. It was systemics. Okay. In 1970, they shut down the factories. They took out the industrial mm -hmm. building jobs. Uh, 1980, dropped off the crack and the mm -hmm. AIDS. Mm -hmm. 1990, the Bill Clinton crime bill. There's systemic factors at play. Mm -hmm. You totally divorce your analysis from any systemic factors at all. You ain't mentioned one. You can be talking about her and Pookie and Ravia with the kids. You ain't say shit about the systemics. I have, I have, and I've also talked about the people who have overcame it and how it's a lot of people who it didn't affect you using systemic oppression literally as an excuse right now. Now, right now, you're using systemic oppression as an excuse as to why somebody has a deadbeat fucking baby daddy, Umar. You have lost your goddamn mind and you pissing me off. Are you serious? This is what we doing right now. 
This isn't Dr. Umar Johnson. This is GED Johnson. He didn't learn none of this in school. I promise he didn't. Not none of this. For real. So, like, come on, man. This is so disingenuous. That's exactly what white folks want you to do. Because That's what, no, it ain't. White I, folks want you to I'm do. I'm saying that. Ignore I, I have made what I've done. I mean, no, he right. He right about what he's saying. But I'm not doing that. So what he's saying he did, he right. That is what white people want you to do. They want you to ignore the systemic oppression of shit. But they, but, but they also, Umar, you're doing what they want you. They want you to use it as an excuse for you to stay down. They want you to do that. And you know that. So y'all both doing what white supremacists want you to do, if that's the case. To your women. You're accusing him of doing something he didn't do. That's what you're doing. And scapegoat her. Because that, that's what she's doing to you. She's ignoring what I'm. Ooh, damn. He said it faster than I can press the button. See, now that's the doctor. Now I can give you credit for being a doctor again. You're being smart. You're so smart that you got your thought off faster than I could pause it. Because I was about to be like, well, that's what she's doing to him. And you said it. So at least you know but that you're a doctor. You got your doctor's degree back. I don't want to hear this G.D. Johnson, Johnson shit. I love Dr. Umar Johnson. I love listening to him talk. This G.D. Johnson shit, we will not be doing G.E.D. Johnson. I don't want to hear that. The system did to you. And she going to mm -hmm. scapegoat you. And, and We're they, both and... scapegoating each other. Okay. But That's... it's some bullshit. That's why I'm mad at you. But you're right. We're both scapegoating each other. But it's just, as long as you know, then you know that people are making excuses. So if you saying that the men are making excuses, why are you sitting here making excuses for the women? That's double bullshit. That's a double foul. You know it's a foul, but yet you're here in proxy of the women making excuses while telling him he's making excuses. Come on, man. And that's literally what you're doing. So I have a problem with it. That's fair. That's Your fair. analysis is feeding the gender war. It's not solving it. He's right mm -hmm. about that right there. But only because he's right. Mm -hmm. He's right. Listen, I I, I, I don't mind us holding the right. women accountable. I don't okay. mind us holding the men accountable. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But when we go he's definitely right about that part. But the thing is. He didn't try to solve it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying his his analysis wasn't trying to solve it. Like you didn't ask him for a solution. You're talking to him about the problem. Hold the system accountable as well. That's fair. And I'll always will. The system is accountable. That's why we started off this video talking about Martin Luther King and the bra burning. The system will always be accountable, but we can't use it as an excuse because it's too many successful people. It's too many people who beat the system to always use the system as this the reason why, because it ain't always the reason why, especially in people relationships. If we're going to hold the system accountable, that also means we got to make our own system still. Our Black men have not been manly in quite some time when it comes to raising Boys. How would you suggest that black the ones who ain't? I agree with that Man. to an extent. I agree with that to an extent. I agree with that when he's he's talking about the people who ain't, the ones who have have. The fathers ha are. The ones who ain't ain't. So what are we saying? Like, of course, he's right about the people who aren't. He's not saying that the people who have raised their their sons have done a bad job though. He's talking about the people who haven't. take on the role of leadership with, especially with, when there's an attack on yeah, black masculinity without women willing to listen it's an attack on masculinity period white masculinity black masculinity just being a man period but anyways this is on being a woman too <laughs> but we're talking about being women i mean we're talking about being men right now but it's just an attack on never mind into us you get what i'm saying how do we prove our worth or take back the take leadership care of the boys. Role. You want the women back? Take care of these damn boys. They run in the hood. No, I'm about to stop you already. And I'm going back to individualism. You don't. The, the way you prove that you're the man is you 
take care of yourself and your home. You don't have to do anything for anyone else. You could do it for yourself. That's what everybody needs to do. So he's acting as if that the systemic problem, listen, I want to say this the perfect way. He's acting like the problem that systemically was caused has to be solved systemically. It doesn't. It has to be solved individually because it affected individuals, but it just affected so many of them that it became a collective. We are talking about deadbeat baby daddies. This is an individual problem. All these people individually had sex with these dudes. So you're not about to tell me now we have to collectively solve the problem. No, we have to individually solve the problem. And it has to start with women individually understanding Pookie and Ray Ray, and then men understand the responsibility of, first of all, protecting their seed and the importance of being a father. So we're not about to sit up here and act as if one person has to do something and the other one doesn't. That's dumb. Killing people at will, flunking out of mm -hmm. school, following the lead of the gangster rappers. Right. There's a whole bunch of stuff we can do. Mm-hmm. That ain't got nothing to do with the women. I already done said that though. He he late. Boys and men. Do you understand? Deal with the boys and the men. Leave her out of it and go straight to the boys. And you'll get her respect back. Give them jobs. Give them education. Give them training. You know what? I'm not gonna give them your time. Time. They not getting none of that from black black man. We don't give a shit about black boys. And then we're gonna get mad at her for ending up with one later in life. It's ridiculous. Not... Okay. Let's not get mad at her for ending up with one. If we don't and we ignore it, she's gonna be the one mad for ending up with one. Welcome on to TikTok. Like you I said, create we, the we product get... and get mad for her for ending than up consuming the product. But see, now you lying, though. Now you're just being disingenuous because we didn't create... You're saying that a man's lack of... You're saying that the lack of an ingredient created the product, but it doesn't. The lack of the ingredient is just why the product is bad. Somebody still had to bake it and watch it and turn it out, take it out and frost it and then you realize, like, damn, I forgot the eggs. But we're not talking about the people who actually baked the cake and frosted the cake and cooled the cake. You just talking about the person that, that the eggs is missing. Come on, man. She could consume whatever she wants. I'm just saying, as a black man. It's not about her consuming whatever she wants, brother, because if we try. Trying to fix the black community. Everybody and everything matters. It's and not individual. You're an but individualist. What? You're not thinking as a community. Your whole analysis is based on me and her. Step out of that shit. Mm -hmm. This is systems at play. You understand? Right. Multiple black men screwed up. Mm -hmm. Multiple black women screwed up. You understand me? Mm -hmm. Look at the systemic nature and say, what system do we need to create as black men to prevent the Pookie and Ray Ray from coming into existence? Or I, as a black man, can just look for a woman that is healed, that is leading in her femininity, that doesn't have a child by that, another woman. But that doesn't solve community problems. We're talking about community solutions. That's individualism. Well, how many individuals is it? You're trying to wordplay, but it ain't going to work with me. So the answer is how many individuals is it? You keep talking about individualism, but how many individuals are we talking about, Umar? Because if it's enough of them, then that solves a problem because these women got pregnant individually. Every woman where the deadbeat baby daddy was in the fucking 
delivery room by herself. So now we're going to sit up and say it's not an individual problem. So is 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 some other woman's deadbeat baby daddy your problem, Umar? It's really not. It's not mine. And then it'd be people, you man, listen, man. Umar, I've never been to um, uh, let me just randomly name a place. I never been to Pennsylvania. Perfect place. I never been to your hometown, Umar Johnson. So it's some woman in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania with a Debbie baby daddy. And you're telling me that I need to be responsible for her son. I don't even know her and I don't even know her son. But then you saying you individual. Well, all of the individuals need to, this is where the word accountability is. It's the only way it works. It's self for self. People don't think talking shit about people is holding them accountable. It's not. Accountability is from yourself. You need to have it. So you were playing this individualism. When the problem may have been birthed from systemic, but it's not systemic. It's individual. It's an individual problem. And that's how if everybody looked at it that way, it would get solved. The same way. It's the same way as like, okay. Even when. It's a collective problem. It's up for individuals to do things. You had to wear a mask. You had to get a vax. So the vax shot was for you, but it solved a collective problem. That's like me saying you getting a vax shot was individualism. You getting a vac shot was individualism. But it solved a collective problem, didn't it? Everybody individually had to have a responsibility. You wear a mask. You get a shot. You remain six feet. You stay indoors. So sometimes when you asking, what are we doing collectively? It's a bunch of individuals doing something. And you still have people arguing again, even with that example. You have people arguing the fact, are you saying they're not taking it? Then they're not doing that. So it's always gonna people gonna be people that's not gonna be with the uniform. It's always gonna be individualism because people think they got it figured out and we've reduced the world to money. So it's individualism because people we've reduced it now, especially when it comes to men and women, you got to pay all the bills to tell them whatever. So Umar, a lot of what you did on this video is disingenuous, fam. I just want to be honest with you. It really was.